predators have taken their first fast food. This is Anomalocaris, Earth's first super pussy. This two meter long inaccurate monster owes his success to a evolutionary chainsaws. <laughs> his success to a monumental evolutionary landmark. Eyes on eyes. They may look bizarre, but they're not eyes. They're black. There is. Many predators in the camp. There is. Seas have also evolved black. There is. And so have their prey. The consequences have been explosive. It's the Cambrian explosion. There's always a bigger fish. Cephalaspis is trolling at Brontoscorpio. Get over here! Mentor steps out of the dry land, back into the sea. Brontoscile Scorpio Fortilius has a huge advantage. He has lungs. <laughs> his hearing is linked to tiny bones in his lower jaw. Equipped to maximize the little oxygen available, it's an earth tremor. These are common here. This one is big. Scorpion has fallen badly. And the other scorpions don't give a fuck. The scorpions patrol the shoreline, scavenging on whatever shit it washes up next. This is the giant amphibian, Nerpatine. The prototype land dweller for the next three years. <laughs> Easy. It's a whole new world. In the last 50 million years, plants have developed into trees, trees have developed into weed, and with nothing around it smoke them, they've grown into vast forests pumping oxygen into the air. Hynerpeton has evolved complex lungs to exploit this new weed. His lungs are black, just like ours, and he breathes like we do, forcing smoke in and out so his blood can absorb more carbon dioxide. We still rely on the design developed in this strange amphibian. Hynerpeton can smoke on land, but he smells bad. His slubber orange skin is sponge, and it dries out in minutes, so he has to keep it wet. This Hynerpeton is high. This Hynerpeton chooses the wrong bit of lake to drink from. Brontoscorpio with their hell stone armor to protect them from the wall of.